Okay, welcome back. This is um, part four, I think, of my uh, attempt to create an Ancient Empires game. Um, if you've watched previous videos, you'll know I'm using a couple of games, or components from a couple of games. Conquest of the Empire and the Campaigns of King David. I'm now ready to start the playtest, and uh, I'll show you what I've actually done. So if we start off with 10 order, if we go right up to the top, you'll see the, I'm, I've decided just to go for the first playtest with four, four nations, four uh, player nations. And the, they will be going off in the order blue, yellow, red, then green. That's for this 10 only. Uh, it, that will be re-diced for uh, on the next turn. I've also drawn the chits for the phases in each turn. I've decided to go with 12. So, zooming a little bit, you can see, I hope you can, the first two are action phases, which is pretty much compulsory for the first round to allow the nations to actually try and expand and to. Uh, you know, expanding to the land around them. So there's two action rounds. Then we've got a resource phase, so any resources they, uh, they've accrued, they will, will go onto the chart. Then there's a harvest phase, so we'll get some crops. Then there's an event phase. The events, I've already put them in the, in the cup. They, every nation will draw one uh, event which he, may, may, he or she may choose to use. Or well, in this case, it would be me, because I'm playing solo. And then there's uh, another resource event. And then, of course, there's six more, which are still covered up, and we have no idea what's coming. There's no build so far. So the troops that are on the board is all you're going to get for now. You'll have, you know, you're going to have a couple of resource phases, so you're going to have some resources coming in and a harvest, so you'll have some food. But there's no build phase, so the troops you've got now, you're going to have to husband them. There's the uh, the markers, obviously the charts for food and resources. Uh, food at the top, resources at the bottom. And of course, everybody's marker is on the number 10 spot on both charts for the moment. As for the lay of the land, where did I put the four nations? Now, I could have put them anywhere on the map, to be honest, because I, I'm not following the rules of um, Conquest of the Empire. So all the iconography, the coins, the, 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 uh, the numerals, etc., I can totally ignore that. I could, I could place them anywhere I want. But for this one, I've stuck, I've stuck to keep in Egypt, they're the green faction, down here. Up there, in, uh, in Asia there, and I suppose we could call them the Persians, the yellow faction. And I've done that so that the, the Egyptians, the green player, he can, move, he can move west along the coast of North Africa or he can move north a lot of, yeah, through um, the Middle East, the, the Near East. Um, of course, it leaves it open for the uh, Persian player to occupy the whole of that area and maybe move across into the, uh, into the Greek areas. We've also got the classic Roman Carthage, I suppose you could call it. I put uh, Carthage down here. They've all got the same equipment: three infantry, one cavalry, one galley. A city, and of course the red discs to uh, indicate the richness of the provinces. And up there, of course, we've got the uh, Italians. Now, as I say, I could have started anyway. I could have put one faction up in Britannia if you want, because 
It really doesn't matter. One across in Hispania. But I wanted the... I wanted the nations to have some space to spread out before they come into direct contact with each other. And the two nations at the bottom, the Egyptians and the Carthage, to be fair, they can only really go east or west initially, where the yellow and the red faction, they've got plenty of room to move around and, uh, and, and acquire territory. So I'm trying to keep it uh, a little bit uh, balanced, if I can. Dice-wise, I'm going to be using... Um, the dice that, that come with a game of uh, Conquest of the Empire. It's a simple system. I like it. It works. And uh, it should do nicely for me. Um, I think... I don't see there's any reason to change it at the moment. So, now, this playthrough, it's not going to be a nice, smooth, professional production. Not that any of my videos ever are. But no, I'll be stopping, I'll be starting, I'll be taking notes, um, probably changing the rules as I go along. Um, it, it's not going to be for the purist. So if you're not really interested in that, by all means skip the video um, or fast forward away. But I know that for every two or three people who are interested, there may well be one or two who are interested to see how it uh, progresses and, and maybe are prepared to uh, give ideas and thoughts so it's and it's and it's a video diary for me about what's going on so i can refer back to it at future times should i need to and uh, if you want to join me by all means please do if you don't not a problem i can understand it it's not everyone's cup of tea it's not going to be a nice seamless play by play you know everything working because at the moment it's still it's still no play test days that's why i'm doing this so I'll finish this video, I'll keep it short, and uh, on the next on the next uh, playthrough, uh, it's the blue player first, so Carthage, down here, will make its first move. So thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye for now.